हेलो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट माय बायोमेट्रिक एक्सपीरियंस और माय बायोमेट्रिक अपॉइंटमेंट एक्सपीरियंस सो आई गेव माय बायोमेट्रिक इन मुंबई मुंबई कॉन्सुलेट सो हियर आई एल जस्ट शेयर द एंटायर एक्सपीरियंस विद यू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द डॉक्यूमेंट्स सो द इम्पॉर्टेंट डॉक्यूमेंट्स दैट आई फील यू शुड टेक इज़ योर पासपोर्ट योर डी एस वन योर अपॉइंटमेंट कन्फर्मेशन uh and your i20 i guess this is enough i don't think you will need anything apart from this so once you go over there especially uh, in mumbai consulate that is in bandra so when you reach there you, i first saw a, a big line okay so initially i thought i'll also have to stand in the line but it turned out that uh, if you are half an hour before the particular before your allotted slot time then you can enter okay just directly i mean you don't need any line or something so my slot timing was 130 i reached there at 1 o'clock so they let me in okay so it is like you should reach half if you are half an hour early you can go in okay so if it is if the time is 1 o'clock uh 1 o'clock people and 130 people can enter if the time is 2 o'clock 2 o'clock and 230 people can enter it's like that okay so when you first enter the building you'll be given you'll you'll have to show the passport and you'll be given a, a token okay and uh, this token you'll have to show it when you enter the room okay so you enter the building first you get the token then uh, there'll be one person uh, who will sanitize your hand you get your hand sanitized go to the first floor so i'm talking about mumbai okay you go to the first floor and then there you'll see a queue now in this queue uh, the guard will tell you to keep your ds160 confirmation and your appointment confirmation ready uh, along with your passport and he will take the token that was given to you earlier okay that is what will uh, happen and then uh, besides you will also see people coming for passport collection so both of uh, both the passport collection after your visa is approved and this biometrics are in the same place so uh, slowly as the queue progresses you will go inside as you go inside first uh, there'll be a person who will scan your barcode Uh, which will be on your uh, DS one sixty. So make sure that your printout of the DS one sixty confirmation is clear. Okay, uh, I recommend you to take a color printout because just before me there was a person who had a black and white uh, printout, and uh, the person so it was difficult to scan that particular barcode. Okay, when you have a black and white printout so i would recommend you to get a color printout of everything i mean you can get a color printout of the appointment as well as ds160 i guess it to be on the to be on the safer side so that will happen and uh, then you'll slowly get into the room uh, another room where actually your biometric will take place so there first you will uh, have to go to another place where they will check your biometrics i mean check your ds160 and your passport and your appointment confirmation they'll see that the name uh, is the same or not everywhere i guess they also check the date of birth and all all the things mentioned uh, in the ds160 passport and the appointment confirmation they'll check that and they'll put a sticker on your passport which mentions the date and time of your visa interview keep that sticker as it is please don't remove that in any case after they check that you will be given a token a new token this token will have some number written on it and there will be a tv screen above okay so what you'll have to do is you'll have to wait till your uh, number that is written on the token comes on the tv screen okay once your number comes uh, on the tv screen they'll also show you which counter do you have to go you go to that counter and then you uh, do your biometric okay so what is biometric you'll have to first place your four fingers of the left hand then place the four fingers of the right hand 
and then you'll have to place the two thumbs like this <clears throat> so that is uh, once that is done then uh, he will take your photograph so there's a va white background uh, behind i mean that is the place is like that and then uh, he will tell you to just go behind stick to the white background and uh, and he'll uh, ask you to take your photo okay i mean he will take your photo not ask you and yeah and one more thing i mean my hair was a little down like this so what he asked me was to take my hair up so that my forehead was visible so this was what the biometric person asked me so maybe you could also i mean initially just keep your hair up so that uh, it is easier for him to uh, click a photo so that was uh, all yes i mean that is it and then you can <coughs> uh, get i mean that that is the whole biometric process and uh, meanwhile if you are in the mumbai consulate uh, there is a locker uh, available as well and there is ds160 form correction as well but they charge a lot i mean over here i i don't know but uh, i heard someone uh, speaking that the i guess one xerox copy is some uh, 10 or 20 rupees over there and uh, ds160 correction is also not quite cheap i mean it is expensive so make sure you have everything right i mean your ds160 is proper your uh the name and all the details that are in the ds160 is similar to that similar nay same to that of uh, the appointment confirmation and the passport so that is uh, very important and yeah that's it that completes your ofc appointment that's all thank you so much for watching if you have any doubts or comments uh, doubts or questions you can put them into the comments below and i'll happy to answer them thank you so much for watching thank you